So what to do if the minority interest turns out to be negative? What will be the treatment under accounting standard 21 for negative minority interest? The very first question that arises is that how come the minority interest can ever become negative? What can be the reason for it becoming negative? Now see, minority interest is the share in the net assets of the subsidiary that belongs to parties other than the parent. Now it is quite possible that the subsidiary may incur a huge amount of loss and once that loss is considered, the minority interest which was positive till now may become negative. Think in this way. Let us say there is company A which has acquired 80% shares of B. So B is the subsidiary company. Let us say we have acquired this on 1st April 2019. Now on 1st April 2019, as far as B is considered, let us say its equity share capital is 1 lakh and its reserves, let's say, is 2 lakhs. So on 1st April 2019, the total net assets is turning out to be 3 lakhs. Now, let us say this company B, during the year, let us say during 2019-20, it incurs a loss. It incurs a loss of rupees 10 lakhs. Right, so this is the information that we have. Now I want to calculate the minority interest. So I want to work out the minority interest. Since you have acquired 80%, 20% is the minority interest. So we consider 20% of net assets, 20% of net assets on 1st April 2019. So the net assets is 3 lakhs the day when we are acquiring the shares. 20% of that will turn out to be 60,000. And then the subsidiary has incurred a loss of 10 lakhs. 20% of this loss belongs to the minority shareholders. So we say 20% of loss of rupees 10 lakhs. This is during, right? This is during 2019-20. So 10 lakhs 20% will turn out to be 2 lakhs. But because it's a loss, 2 lakhs is negative. So I take a total. The total is turning out to be 1 lakh 40,000, but negative. So this is how the minority interest is turning out to be negative. So if I work out the minority interest, I will say that minority interest on 31st March 2020 is negative 1 lakh 40,000. What to do with this negative minority interest? What is the treatment given under accounting standard 21? AS21 says that negative minority interest should be reported at nil value in the consolidated balance sheet. So when you prepare consolidated balance sheet, you will show minority interest, but at nil, at zero. You cannot show negative minority interest in the balance sheet. See, minority interest ultimately is interest that belongs to shareholders. Shareholders have limited liability. Liability of a shareholder is limited to the face value of the share. That's it. You cannot ask a shareholder to bear loss in addition to the face value of the share. Yes, if the share is by chance, let's say partly paid up, then to the extent it is unpaid, you may ask the shareholder to bear the loss till that amount. But if the share is a fully paid up share, Right. If a share is a fully paid up share, then my liability as a shareholder is limited to the fifth value of the share. As a shareholder, you cannot ask me to bear any loss in addition to it. That itself is the meaning of limited liability. So if you are saying that now you will have to bear a loss of 1,40,000, minority shareholders will not bear this loss. So I will report minority interest in my consolidated balance sheet as negative value. Do not plan to show negative minority interest on the asset side. Do not be like that, okay, it has become negative, no problem. Let me put it on the asset side. 
putting negative minority interest on the asset side means you as a company has a right to demand 140000 from your shareholders when you put something on the asset side that means you have a right if you say 140000 i will put on the asset side you are conveying to the shareholders that see you have suffered a loss of 140000 i as a company have a right to recover 140000 from you as i said earlier a shareholder has limited liability you do not have any right of recovering this 140000 from the shareholder so you cannot show negative minority interest even on the asset side so on the liability side minority interest i will report as nil value question then arises is that if it is negative 140 and in the balance sheet you are showing it at negative value then how will it how will the balance sheet tally right i have a negative figure and instead of putting the negative figure i'm putting zero figure in the balance sheet then the balance sheet naturally will not tally so what to do yes accounting standard 21 says that this 140000 is additional loss this is additional loss to be borne by parent to be borne by parent parent company has to bear this particular loss so we have to transfer this to the p and l of the parent in the consolidated p and l 140000 will be debited so minority interest becomes negative consider this as additional loss to be borne by the parent the moment i will transfer 140000 to the p and l consolidated p and l now my balance sheet will tally minority interest which should have been negative 140 becomes zero and that negative 140000 debited to the p and l so the liability side in any case is reducing by 140000 right However, one important point, this does not mean that the parent has a very large heart that, okay, my minority shareholders have suffered a loss, then I will bear that loss. No, it doesn't have a large heart. In future, in future, whenever the subsidiary will earn profit, whenever the subsidiary will earn profit, parent will not share this profit with the minority shareholders till the earlier absorbed loss is recovered right let's say the next year the subsidiary makes profit okay then we will find out that what is the share of the minority shareholders we will credit that to the consolidated p and l parent will take away that profit till this entire loss of 140000 is absorbed once the loss of 140000 is absorbed after that if the subsidiary is earning profit then we will start sharing that profit with our minority shareholders on this particular point we do have one illustration in the next episode i shall solve that illustration but this is the underlying concept of negative minority interest